Is your God belief bit set to one or zero? Let's do this. <laughs> Greetings fellow space travelers, Bionic Dance here. Over the years discussing the issues surrounding religion, my philosophy has evolved a little over time. And I'd like to illustrate one way in which my understanding of the religion debate has, shall we say, become refined. You see, as I see it, what matters truly is whether or not you believe in a deity. That's it. How strongly you believe or don't, why you believe or don't, those matters are secondary, at best. In fact, they tend to cloud the issue. What really matters is whether or not you have committed yourself to belief. Allow me to illustrate. Here is your God belief bit. It can be set to true or false, to one or zero, on or off. You either are believing at this moment or you're not. Now, let's say you're an atheist. You don't believe in a God. Your God belief bit is set to off. Now, as a result of that lack of belief, you're probably motivated to do very little. Non-belief in something is not much of a motivator at all. In fact, if you do anything at all as a result of that non-belief, it's probably in self-defense against people who don't like the fact that you don't believe in a god, who think that your non-belief makes you in some way evil or immoral. That's it. Now, let's suppose you're an agnostic. Most people who say they're agnostic say that they don't know whether they believe in a god, or say that the question of whether God exists is something that's unknowable. But have they committed to believing in a god? Have they joined a church or started worshipping? Are they following dogma? Are they doing something as a result of belief or non-belief? Well, no, not really. Their God belief bit is also set to off. They're essentially de facto atheists. And like an atheist, they're essentially motivated to do very, very little as a result of this non-belief. It's more or less the same thing, ultimately. And how about those folks who like to call themselves agnostics? Well, hell, they say they can't even discuss the question of whether a god exists until you define what a god is. And most, most definitions of god are so nebulous that you really can't discuss them in the least, much less point to them and say, hey, there's that god we're talking about. You really can't do it. If anybody's god belief bit is set to off, I'd say that an agnostic's must be, and they're certainly not worshipping. They're certainly not participating in any dogma-motivated activities. Goodness, no. So, again, they're basically de facto atheists. Now, a lot of people would have us believe that these philosophies are distinct from each other, but the result is ultimately the same. They're not committed to God belief. They're not doing, it, doing anything as a result of, of not being believers. They're not motivated to do a damn thing. Or if they are, it's as a result of the behavior of religious people in their direction. They're saying, hey, we have to defend ourselves against you people who are, are believers, who are saying you non-believers are, are somehow bad people. That's it. There's nothing about non-belief that motivates people. So now, on the other hand, on the other hand, let's suppose you're a theist. Let's suppose your God belief bit is set to on. Now suddenly we find ourselves motivated to do all kinds of things. This God character seems to want a lot out of his followers, doesn't he? Worship this, pray to that, do this, don't do that go to war with these people, find these other people disgusting, have sex this way, don't have sex that way. If, if, if people disagree with you, they're bad, bad people. When your God belief is set to on, you're supposed to do all kinds of things or not do all kinds of other things. And those of us whose God belief bit is set to off, we often find ourselves in your crosshairs. And that's just not okay. 
Non-belief doesn't do this. There's nothing about having no God belief that'll spur people to action. Nobody says, as a result of my non-belief in a deity, I shall now go out and perform this action, good or bad. That just doesn't happen. But religion does motivate people. Religion comes with dogma, and dogma comes with instructions. When your God belief bit is set to on, it tends to make you into an asshole, and the rest of us have to defend ourselves against you. So, if you're an atheist, or an agnostic, or an agnostic, or a baby, or whatever, I don't even care anymore. I really don't. If your God bit is set to off for whatever reason, I, I mean, I don't even care. That makes you a de facto atheist in my book. That's all that matters. That's really all that matters. But if your God bit is set to on, if your God bit is set to on and your behavior ma makes you into a jerk in my direction, well, that's why I make videos. You're the reason why I'm doing this. Do you think I want to be doing this? I started my channel to make animation started my channel to show off things that, that I can do with, with 3D Studio Max. I mean, hell, most of you know how much of a Star Wars fan I am. That's what I really want to be doing. But I found my life had to change as a result of religious people who thought that, that people like me are somehow bad people. That's why I do this. If you religious people could mind your own damn business, so could I. My videos essentially are your fault. I have to defend myself against you. That's what this is all about. So for my money, whether or not you believe in a god, and whether or not that belief changes your behavior in my direction, that's what matters. I mean, hell, I only argue against faith, against religious belief, because those beliefs are what spur you to action. I mean, I don't really care what you believe. I care whether or not those beliefs make you behave in certain ways. That's truly what, what matters. That's, that's all it's about. Go ahead, believe stupid things. Believe that, that there's some beardy man up in the clouds. Go ahead and do that. Believe that, that you get a planet when you die if you're Mormon. I don't care. Go ahead and believe that. I only care whether or not those beliefs then make you think that people like me are somehow bad people and that you have to take over the world from the rest of us. I only care if you think that somehow science, which then goes around proving that your religion is chowder-headed, must somehow be stopped because it proves your religion is chowder-headed. That's all I care about. Just because science happens to show that your religion is wrong and that your beliefs are, are idiotic, well, I'm sorry that science does that. I'm sorry that your beliefs are in conflict with the real world. Poor baby. That's not our fault. That's not our problem. You can plug your ears and close your eyes and go la 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 as much as you like and, and pretend it didn't happen. But if you're trying to get the rest of us to change our world so you can maintain your fantasy bubble. Well, forget it, pal. That's not okay. It's really not. Anyway, that's why I make videos. And that's what matters. Your behavior has made me have to defend myself. Your behavior, your religious behavior, your God belief bit is set to on instead of off. And even that isn't enough for me to start getting obnoxious in your direction. Isn't enough for me to make videos. It's the fact that with your God belief bit set to on, and you thinking, oh, well, I believe in God and you don't, and I have to get you because you don't. That is why I have to defend myself to make my videos. That's the reason why. If you could say, my God belief bit is set to on, yours is set to off, but oh well, whatever. We'll just go our separate ways and agree to disagree. If you could do that, fine. 
But how many, how many religious people can do that? Precious few, I think. But it seems to me that a lot of the people, a lot of folks, whose God belief bit is set to off, well, a lot of us could just shrug our shoulders and go, oh, whatever. I mean, we, we might try to convince you that you're wrong, but if, if you won't, you know, if you won't bite, if you won't take the bait, if you won't say, okay, fine, yeah, you're right, yeah, you've proved us wrong, if you won't do that, we'll shrug our shoulders, go, whatever, and go our own separate ways, we will. But, but you have so much invested, and your dogma says that, that so much will go wrong if, if people don't believe, if we don't change the setting on our God belief bit, that, that you seem to think that there's so much riding on that one thing, whether or not that bit is set to on, that, that you are willing to actually go to war over that. That's scary to a lot of people. And we're just simply not willing to allow you to force our worlds to change over that. It's not okay. That's it. So really, as far as I'm concerned, the only thing that matters, only thing that matters, is whether or not you believe. If, if, if you believe, that changes your behavior. And, and your behavior is frankly unacceptable. If you don't believe, it tends to not change your behavior. And that's fine. I mean, what you, what you end up believing when you don't believe, I may not agree with anyway. I mean, there's a lot of things that people who don't believe in God, your God belief bit is set to off. And you'll believe other things that has nothing to do with God, and I disagree with those things. But those other things that you don't believe in, they tend not to spur you to action that forces me to defend myself the way the God belief bit does. I don't know why. There's just something about that God belief bit that, that forces you to, to take action against me like that. And it's not okay. It's really not. I hope this message has gotten through. Till next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. And please visit my Sazzle store, where you'll find all kinds of Bionic Dance merchandise. If you don't like what I'm saying, there's a good chance you're the reason I'm saying it.